Good evening. We begin with new information about a crash that killed Metro Police Officer John Anderson last month. A 17 year old is facing several charges in connection with his death, including vehicular homicide. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb is in our five alert center. Jason, what does this new information tell us? Well, as it often is in these cases, it depends on who you ask. But the attorney for 17 year old Jayona Brown shared with us today the speed information that he says came from the two vehicles involved in the crash. Now, Brown's attorney, Mickey Gibson, says he got the data from the event data recorders, essentially the black boxes, from both the car Brown was driving and Anderson's patrol car. He says the data shows Officer Anderson was going more than 70 miles per hour in the seconds before the crash at Interstate Drive and Woodland Street. That's well over the 10 miles an hour, over the posted 35 mile an hour speed limit that Metro Police policy allows officers to travel in emergencies. Gibson says the data shows his client, Brown, was traveling only only around 40 miles an hour. Gibson says that shows that both Brown and Officer Anderson both did things to cause the accident that killed the officer. There's two things that caused that wreck that night, that morning on July the 4th. My client ran a flashing red light. Officer Anderson was going too fast. If neither one of those things had happened, if we'd have taken away the J. Owner Brown running the red light, then the accident wouldn't have happened. If we'd have taken away the Officer Anderson wasn't going too fast, it wouldn't have happened. So it's the combined negligence of both parties that caused this collision. The other side to all this, the Fraternal Order of Police says today's new speed information does nothing to lessen the culpability of Jayona Brown, who they say was recklessly trying to get away from police in the moments before the crash. Live in the Five Alert Center tonight, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.